Hey guys, welcome to Inez's party, her cooking class. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm out here in uh, Texas and tonight we are going to make some easy chicken fajitas. If you are just tuning in and you're watching the replay, I want you to hit pound replay for me and let me know uh, if you're brand new to Epicure, if you've never had Epicure before, or what you're most excited about. And if you're just tuning in, make sure you say hello so that I know you're here. Uh, real quick, let me just give you my story. My name is Tara Norman. I am doing the cooking class for Inez's uh, cooking show tonight. And um, I found Epicure because we have food allergies. Um, our never ever list, which I posted today, promises that there are key ingredients that are never going to be in any of our products. And one of those key ingredients is gluten. Uh, my family is actually very gluten sensitive and we cannot have it. And I have a child who has dye allergies and there's no dyes in the products as well. So, um, and you can find that list below this live. So today I'm going to show you one of my very favorite products. I'm gonna um, turn this around so you can see. This is called our steamer. It is the number one most sought after product with Epicure. It, you can make whole meals in the steamer. It comes with the fry tray. Right now I'm using it kind of as a, um, like a little step stool for my thing. But you can crisp bacon in this on this actual thing. You can make rice in this. You can do a one pot meal in this. You can make rice in less than 16 minutes. You can roast a whole chicken in the microwave in 20 minutes in this. And we're gonna be featuring our easy Mexican kit. And the Mexican kit comes with this pico picante, nacho cheese, fajita seasoning, and guacamole. And um, what you see over here is we're going to make the, uh, the nacho cheese dip. I already have everything pre-portioned. I'll show you that in just a second. And I'm going to get started. You're going to see me using some of my Epicure products right now. This is the Epic Epicure Blade. It has a, a serrated edge on it. This knife cuts like butter. Like it's one of my favorite knives now. And I love this, but it's super sharp. So I always, always, always keep the uh, sleeve to it close by so that I can put it on. And this is the non-slip cutting board. This is nice because as you can see, I'm in the camper. This is all my counter space. That's all I have to work with. And this thing does not move, which is like really, really important. And this kit also comes with uh, um, five recipe cards. So as you can see, we're gonna be using the easy chicken fajitas. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna have my sister. Here we go. I'm gonna have my sister flip this around and then you're gonna watch me cook, okay? Hello, hello. Let's see. Nope, that was a brighter one. Nope, that wasn't it. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I hit that one, but this one. Oh, little well, camera. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so on the easy chicken fajita cut, what do you need? You need two bell peppers. Uh, it calls for red onion. I'm gonna go with white and then we're gonna use chicken and, um, and then the seasoning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing up the bell pepper, okay? And I want you to see how my knife cuts like butter, okay? So let me just do this so you can kinda of see. And I'm just gonna, I think it all goes together anyway if I remember correctly, but you can see just how easily that knife slides through it, right? And um, we're gonna cook this all together and it's gonna take less than 15 minutes and I'm chatting. <laughs> if you have questions, please um, post them. I don't like the um, membrane. If you have questions, please post them. Hopefully we can see your comments. I didn't see anything yet, but wave to us if you're there, say hello. So I'm just cutting up the bell pepper. Be sure not to cut your finger. That would be embarrassing on a live. And I don't like the little seeds, okay? And I like colorful bell, bell peppers. If you are a green only person, go for it. I'm kind of like, you know, if we're doing Mexican things, I really do love colors and um, flavors. And they say that your bell peppers aren't even ripe, technically, unless they're red. That's something new that I learned. But I, I don't know, because I heard that vitamin C is mostly found, there's a higher vitamin C content in the green, so, hmm. I'll have to look that up. Okay, so we're done with one. I'm going to go ahead and slice the other one in half. I mean, you can see, like, I'm holding this up and just, like, going through it. You can see just how sharp this knife is. 
and this is the kind of knife that you don't want to necessarily put in the dishwasher you want to hand wash this um, because this is going to be your baby okay um, i would not use this on like frozen chicken so to say but on all your veggies this is it and i think this is a five inch blade if i'm correct if you buy the consultants kit which is what i did it's 150 dollars. it comes with everything that you're going to see plus more today <laughs> quite honestly so I already pre-sliced uh, my onion. I like onion rings, not uh, slices for our fajitas, because we kind of, some of us do deconstructed fajitas and don't actually put them in uh, tortilla shells. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. All right, and then we're gonna take a look at our um, recipe onion, card. Recipe card, yeah. Okay, so it says thinly sliced bell peppers and onion. Now we're gonna slice the chicken. So I'm gonna grab my chicken real quick. Hang on. And Roberta is on. If you want to give a shout out to Roberta hey, Gonzalez. Roberta. Thanks for your order. You may not be done shopping after I'm done with you tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited. And we're doing this. If you guys didn't realize this, I am legit in a campground in Texas. Uh, we're from Florida. And um, we came to visit my family and my sister. And um, we made the decision to do a cross-country trip with our four children in an RV in 106 degree Texas heat, okay? Tell me that is not brave, right? Super brave of us, but we're kind of, we have that adventuring spirit and our family likes to do fun things, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to chop up my, um, I've got four chicken breasts, there's six of us, and so um, four adults, and so we're going to slice these up and then put them in. And my chicken is thawed. So you're gonna see how fast this goes with thawed chicken. Look at how it just slices through that, right? Makes it look like it's butter. It's just easy. It's just easy. Like it's just going through. Okay, so that has a little bit of a fatty piece there. It's not the knife's fault. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, we're gonna get through this little fatty piece. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that Make sure I actually cut it all the way through. Okay. Yep. And we're gonna lay that in there. I, you know, the first time I made this in the microwave, I was honestly like flabbergasted that it really took. I think the thing says that it takes, how long did it say that it took? Here, let me show them the recipe card where you yeah, cut show up the, them the meat. Recipe card. So let me look at this. This is the first time I'm looking at it, guys. So at the top, it's got the name of it. It's Easy Chicken Fajitas. So if you're st filing it in a recipe card index or binder, or something that's really easy to find. Up here, it tells you exactly what you need to know. One cup sliced vegetables, your choice. Make a vegetarian swap meat for four cups of beans and lentils. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you're a vegetarian, you don't have to use meat. And then total time, 15 minutes. That's yeah. nice for us, uh, for the families that are on the go, moms and dads that are on the go. It tells you exactly how many servings, four servings, and um, your cost per serving. Then it goes into the ingredients. So do, do uh, two bell pepper, a fourth of red onion. Tara's using yellow or white onion tonight. Looks like white onion. Um, one pound of boneless, skinless chicken. Two tablespoons of fajita seasoning, which we will see in a little bit. Um, one large tomato, two tablespoons of po uh, poco picante salsa mix, half lime, one avocado, one and a half guacamole dip mix, and eight small whole grain or corn tortillas. And then this is nice. It gives you the nutritional info. So if any of you are trying to track calories um, or carbs or protein, anything like that, or even sugars, it's got it all there for you. And then over here, it gives you the one, two, three, four steps instructions. This looks very easy. And again, 15 minutes total. All right. And we have already sliced up our chicken here. So we got our chicken on top. We've got our bell pepper and onion underneath. And we're going to stir in the seasoning. So for the seasoning, we want two tablespoons of fajita seasoning. So the fajita seasoning is so versatile. You don't just have to use this on um, chicken. In fact, we made walking tacos this week. I'm sure you guys saw our pictures. We made walking tacos and used the fajita seasoning on our hamburger meat so that we had that like Mexican flair. And it was so yummy. And there's no MSG in this. 
there's no wheat flour in this. So even if you're not on the dietary restriction side of let's say food allergies, this is still better for you. If you're on keto, this is better for you. You're already doing yourself a favor if you're switching your products to all of my, oh, this is my um, open jar. I have I have multiple feed seasonings because I love them. Um, this, the uh, good thing about this is that you know what's in your food and you know what you're feeding your family. So take a look at the seasoning. It's rich and thick and you can see like all that yummy stuff. This has um, chili powder, onion, garlic, mustard, flour, black pepper, lemon, cayenne pepper, and herbs. And what is this, dear? This is our measuring spoon. It's called a four-in-one measuring spoon with Epicure. This is obviously the tablespoon side. There's a teaspoon side. I'm going to dump oh, that. Cute. And then on this side, it has the, um, I can't read upside down here, teaspoon, and then a quarter teaspoon right here. So it's a four-in-one. So the recipe says we're going to use two tablespoons. All of our tables, all of our Epicure seasoning jars were made so that this can fit inside of them. Like how handy is that? I know most of you are like me, you're working or you're a stay at home mom or you're by yourself or you're not like a fancy chef cook. You need something that's easy and fast, something you can quickly do. This is, this is it right here. All right, so the Conto seasoning and the tomato is actually for the um, salsa, which we are not gonna make tonight. So we put the fajita seasoning in and then we're going to pop this in the microwave and then we're gonna work on our cheesy nacho dip. It's gonna be so good. So I'm just gonna come in. And Sophia kind of Cole is also on with us. Hi Sophia, how are you? So excited. You guys get to watch me use this multi-purpose steamer. I have never in my life heard of some great contraption like this where you can cook a whole one pot meal in the microwave and it is fabulous absolutely thought it is a life changing thing right here okay so we got that going all right so quick quick uh tip is that when you get your steamer you're gonna want a steamer if you don't have a steamer buy the steamer it's 44 dollars, and it will change your life i'm serious you can do a whole chicken in 20 minutes you can bake uh two cut i think it's two cups of rice that last time i did in under 20 minutes you can't even do that on the stove okay and the rice is perfect like better than a rice cooker so when you get this and you're putting it in the microwave, please make sure that the vents are not near the handles, okay? Because when you go to pop it out of the microwave, you do not want to get burned. So it kind of snaps in there, but you have to, you know, make sure that you kind of have it in there. So then you're gonna lift this up. Whoops! Maybe I didn't do it all the way like I should have. That was my fault. Hold on. When you're live, you know, you have uh, bloopers. That's me. Got some bloopers. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in the microwave. Says, ha, you know what? I forgot to check that the steamer actually fit in the microwave. How uh, embarrassing would that have been if I had put that steamer in the microwave? It didn't even work. So it says we're going to put it on high for three to five minutes. So this is a lower wattage microwave. I'm going to start with five because I I never cooked in my steamer in this microwave, so I really don't know like if it's on the correct side or not of that um, thing. So let me wash my hands again, and then we're going to go straight in to this um, nacho seasoning. Okay, so the nacho seasoning dip, guys. This is fantastic, okay? So that probably shouldn't, let me do this. I'll set this right here. Okay, the nacho seasoning dip. This is the nacho seasoning dip. So as you can see, it's got onion, Parmesan. If, if you've got a milk allergy, this is not gonna be great for you. Um, but then it has micro, this just talks about all the good stuff they put in it. Um, red bell pepper, chili, chili powder, and then your seasonings, ring bell pepper, tomato spices, and herbs. And I'm just gonna open this up. You, you smell. can, you, yeah, you should smell it. Mm. You can see it, it in good. here. Like it, it looks absolutely fantastic. But to make this, all you need is three tablespoons of this, which this has 78 servings, if you're wondering three tablespoons, a half a cup of sour cream, cream cheese, and grated cheddar. Now, if you've watched any of my lives, I'm not a measurer. I just kind of eyeball it because that's how I roll in the kitchen. If you are a measurer, do it, totally do it. But like, I kind of like, it'll come out fine, right? I'll just add a little bit more if I need to. So that's kind of what I've done so far is I combined this. 
Now you can use this in burritos, enchiladas, quesadillas, tortilla pies, Mexican layer dip. My kids dip their gluten-free chicken nuggets in it. We eat it as just like a queso dip and, and dip our uh, tortilla chips in it. Um, you can put this on top of Aztec soup. If you bought any of the milk kits and they have the Aztec soup in there, you can put this on top of the Aztec soup and it will give it that really good Mexican flavor that you're looking for. So I'm just gonna kinda, um, kinda try to stir it around a little bit. I'm using a paper plate because my bowls that we bought for the camper have a metal lining. <laughs> so meanwhile, while you're mixing that, Tara, so just to recap for anybody else, you are cooking everything in the microwave right now. Yeah. And and for how long did you put the microwave on? Five minutes. So in five minutes, your dinner is going to be cooked, or you have to stir it in I five minutes. I got to look at it in five minutes, and then it, if it's uh, if it's good to go, then it's done. I use so they use in their recipe they used only one pound of chicken. I probably had two, so we may have to go double because this is really for a um, four serving. And um, like I said, we were doing for a six serving, okay? So that's pretty well mixed up. And um, and then you know what I've got to get is, do I need that for that? Um, I want, should we put some citrus on top of the fajita? Mm, that Let's sounds yum. That. Some lime. So let me get, I've got, I, I might have lime. I have lemon for sure. So I've got my three or two and one lemon press. This is my, <laughs> this is my favorite gadget. Um, I never used fresh before Epicure just because I just why I had like the hand one and I love this lemon press it is so fun to use so I'm gonna grab a lemon real quick uh, we're gonna do a lemon or a lime let's do a lime okay I'm do a lime all right we've got a minute left on our timer here and I know that I put here we go I'm gonna wash this off real quick. And then um, we're gonna use our handy dander dandy lime press. Hey guys, if you are got if you are just joining or you're speeding up the video to see what we're making, we are making easy chicken fajitas. So right now we've already chopped up the um, onion and the bell pepper mm -hmm. and the chicken and it's microwaving in the oven and that what's the name of that bowl this is called the uh, steamer the steamer bowl it's 44 I think it's 44.95 and it is life-changing for you in the kitchen this is what Epicure is all about easy good real food and this steamer helps me make the fastest quickest meals and then of course the spices totally make it real food instead of like synthetics right and stuff that isn't good for your body so she is she put the first round of chicken in for five minutes you said five minutes because we're feeding six so we use four chicken breasts so she's about to take it out we got 13 seconds left yeah. meanwhile here's a recipe card that we have gone through um all of the ingredients the instructions at the very top it tells you the name of the meal it tells you the total cooking time how many servings and the dollar per serving um, and then over here, she's got her mix that she just got ready. So she's going to take everything out of the microwave real quick and she's going to check and see how everything's We're coming around. Check it. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. I don't know if y'all can see the steam, but that looks beautiful. I'm trying to get the steam. That looks so pretty. And, and I'm smelling everything. Amazing. Now, if you were looking at this going, is the chicken like rubber? I have cooked so many dishes in it. The answer is no. Now, I can tell just by looking at it because, you know, I cook meals all the time. <laughs> A family of six were cooking. Yeah, you can see it's not quite ready. Uh, we doubled our recipe, so um, I knew that I might have to go over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back in. But y'all, real quick, look at how juicy it is, okay? Yeah. That's the thing with cooking chicken. It Sometimes it'll dry out and you don't want that. You want really nice, uh, juicy chicken, and that still has lots of juice and lots of flavor sticking on it. Oh, and it totally seals in the flavor. It's in there. You do not have to worry about it being dried out or funky or chewy. I promise you, like, um, how do I do this? I promise you that it is not like that at all. So, all right. My husband is moving my dip over to a glass bowl. Is that a glass bowl? That's a plastic bowl, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. So we'll do that next. 
um, but if you're just joining us, so here's the kit that I'm cooking from. It's called the Easy Mexican Kit. I think it, the price was $34.95, I posted it above, but it comes with this guacamole seasoning. If you have never tasted Epicure's guacamole seasoning, I'm telling you, and Inez can attest to this, because she and I had um, some conversations uh, on PM. This stuff is amazing. It has a hint of curry. I don't know how else to say it. Like, there's nothing in the ingredients that, that, that give you the idea that it has curry in it, but there's a curry type after flavor to it that is just addictive. So I have extra jars of this because this stuff sells out really, really fast. People sometimes don't buy the Mexican kit, they just buy the guacamole. And so I actually have extra jars of this in my cabinet because I do not want to run out. So Heather can tell you what's actually in it. So and how many servings? So if I get this, then what do I need to do? Just get sour cream and mix it, or what do you mix? No, no, with no. It? you just so if you are. Oh, making, there we go. Yeah, if you're making guacamole with this, all you have to do is you're just going to mash go. two ripe avocados combined with three tablespoons of this and a splash of lime juice. Yeah. It takes less than three minutes to make guacamole, and it comes out perfect every time. This has 69 servings in it. Okay, what's in it? Because you want to know, right? First of all, is non-GMO verified. Over 85% of our products, actually it's 90% of our products are non-GMO verified. So you're getting good ingredients. You're getting good flavors that don't have all of the other junk in it, which is super important because that's why we're always sick. We're putting uh, glyphosate in our body, which is Roundup, and it comes from almost everything. And what are herbs? There's stuff that grows in the ground, right? And so most farmers are putting the glyphosate on it, right? I had huge levels of glyphosate in my body. For a woman, that will totally increase your estrogen levels. So I only know that because I had estrogen-based cancer um, and breast cancer. So we have to make sure what we are putting in our body is healthy and good for our body. So this is like one of my most favorite spices. So this is guacamole, okay? This is poco picante. Poco picante is going to make your salsas, it can go in fajitas, it can go on chicken if you want. It has 60 servings in it. And if you're making salsa, it is the easiest thing in the world. You're just gonna take two tablespoons of poco picante, one cup of diced tomatoes, whether they're fresh from the garden, a can of diced tomatoes, whatever you wanna do, and a splash of lime juice and cilantro. You're gonna let it stand for 15 minutes. You can stir it into beans, rice, salads, top on top of grilled meat, or egg dishes or make your salsa. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, quite literally. Okay, next we have the nacho cheese dip, which we went through. And finally, the last star of the show is the fajita seasoning. So I don't think I guys, so the, this has 85 servings in it, okay? And you guys saw what I did. I just put two tablespoons of this onto our chicken. And you can do um, one pound of beef like we did. And that's what we did for our walking fajitas or you can spoon it into warm tortillas if you don't want the meat, but you want the flavor, add a little bit of butter in there and you're good to go. Calorie wise, the stuff has like, I don't know, five facts in each jar. So, and then we made the, we're making the nacho cheese dip over here. So on this, I just added the two tablespoons of nacho cheese, sour cream, uh, cream cheese, and shredded cheddar. And so this has about another minute. I'm actually gonna stop it because it was almost done and I'm just curious where it's at. Now bear with me because this is, if you're if you're like me in this situation where you have a higher microwave, right? My, my microwave at home is like this. It's literally on level. I have to reach up. Be careful because you don't want the steamer lid to grab you, right? There's handles on the side. I make sure I grab those. Cheryl Cameron is on with us. Hey Cheryl. Okay, we're gonna set that down. It is hot, hot, hot. Woo! That's gotta be done. That steam, yum. Yeah, it's done. I, it's gotta be done. Look at the juices. Oh, you, let's see, can you see that juice? Yes. The juice is still like there. So your meat is still going to be nice and packed full of flavor. This is done, so done. So we, we had a minute and nine seconds left. So that took minute. nine This took nine minutes. minutes to make. This is gonna feed six people, okay? So I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna let this cool a little bit because little kids are about to die then. Now we're gonna pop this in the microwave. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember. Let me just get all that goodness off of there because we don't wanna waste it. 
um, how long this goes in the microwave. Hang on, I think it's like a minute. We'll see. Uh, oh, wait, that's speaking dead. That doesn't help me. <laughs> Hold up. Okie dokie. It just says heat until it's bubbly. So I think last time when I made this, because I made it for my kid's chicken, I think it did it for about a minute. We'll just let it finish there and see what happens. Meantime, we're going to add some lime juice to this fajita seasoning. So this is our two-in-one juice press. So this is for limes. This is for lemons, okay? So we're going to um, use that real quick. You're going to put it in like this. So if I had a bigger lime, we would put it in the lemon. And then we're just going to squeeze it. This is one of my most favorite little gadgets. And the bottom catches all the seeds. Look at that. Absolutely yummy, yummy, yummy. And see, there's the bottom. So let's take that out so you can kind of see. Oh, it's literally stuck on there. Oh, we got it. So we got it all. We got it all. And yeah, there was no seeds in that. So awesome. So I'm gonna leave this here and we're gonna stir that in. I mean, seriously guys, when's the last time it took you nine minutes to make chicken fajitas? I mean, that was prep time, right? I mean, prep time was like, what, two minutes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not even. So, let me just check on this. So, six seconds left. Sorry, I didn't know if that was hot. Okay, so it is cooked down a little bit. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Look at ooey gooey cheese. Queso. Oh, yes. So, I'm going to make Heather try this because she has only tried Epicure through me this week. And I have not made this for her yet, okay? So, let me set this right here. Again, I'm working in a, cam a camper. So this is all I got, all the space I got, ladies. And if I can make all of this yumminess in a camper, you can make this in your kitchen, okay? So, we're in Texas. When in Texas, we use Julio chips. Is this Julio? Yes, Julio chips. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Heather take a tortilla chip and she's gonna taste this or go for it and tell us what she thinks. She's Texan, so I would love to hear her thoughts. That's really good. Very good. I taste a lot of the seasoning and the cheese. It's just great. Yeah. So we just made a full meal, guys. A full meal. I was gonna do guacamole, but my guacamoles are not ripe enough. <laughs> like, they're literally hard. And if I had been at home and paying attention to it, I would have put them in a brown paper bag for today so that the gases would have made them ripe to go. But literally, they look ready, but they're not ready. They're still very hard. So we're not making guacamole tonight, boo. So I'm gonna put these in a bag tonight and I'll make it and then I'll post it tomorrow. How does that sound? All right, guys, that's it. If you have questions, I am here. What do I think you should buy? I think that you should get whatever seasoning kit you love. So I have featured the Greek seasoning kit to you. I'm showing you the Mexican seasoning kit. Um, let me think, There's, is there another one? I don't think I showed you any more, but I, um, I would get the steamer. The steamer is $44.95 and honestly, this is just, I'm telling you, this is the trivet you make bacon on. Okay, so you, you put the bacon on this and make it and it makes it super crispy. And so um, that's fantastic. Now, if you're cooking multiple meals in the steamer, you would put the trivet down. On, so you put like rice on the bottom, put the trivet on top of that, and then put chicken on top of that. Um, Are these dishwasher safe? They're dishwasher safe. And, and they look like they're, they're non-stick. Yeah, they're non-stick. There's no sticking to it. It is one of my most favorite cookwares. And I have a lot of their cookware uh, options. I have their mats. Um, I have the sponges are on the way. I actually ordered those last night. I'm super excited about the sponges. But yeah, if that, what I think you should get is go buy your flavor for your for what seasoning you like, but grab yourself a steamer. You don't want to miss out on the steamer. So um, that's my number one hostess gift. Okay. So which leads me into hostessing. We are losing. Lo we're losing. We are looking for two hostesses out of Inez's party so she can get a reward. You just need to sign up with me, and I just do a cooking show for you and your friends. Just I mean, you see what we've done on on Inez's page. It's super easy for you. You just invite friends and we just have fun. Grab yourself a beverage. I have a Shiner Bach here because I'm in Texas and Shiner Bach is a Texan beer. So we're gonna have a little bit of dip, a little bit of fajita, and we're gonna sit outside tonight and watch um, a movie. We've got a projector. We're gonna watch a movie on the RV. So I'm here. 
place your orders. The link will be posted below and I also posted in the comments of this video. If you have any questions, I am checking my phone. Inez's party will close in three days. So we have three days to get two hostesses and get our orders in. And let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much for spending time with me in the kitchen and I hope you guys have a great afternoon.